fast inverse square root or by the hexadecimal constant 0x5f3759df, is a method of calculating Zao one half, the reciprocal of a square root for a 32-bit floating point number in IEEE 754 floating point format. The algorithm was probably developed at Silicon Graphics in the early 1990s, and an implementation appeared in 1999 in the Quake 3 Arena source code, but the method did not appear on public forums such as Usenet until 2002 or 2003. At the time, the primary advantage of the algorithm came from avoiding computationally expensive floating point operations in favor of integer operations. Inverse square roots are used to compute angles of incidence and reflection for lighting and shading in computer graphics. The algorithm accepts a 32-bit floating point number as the input and stores a halved value for later use. Then, treating the bits representing the floating point number as a 32-bit integer, a logical shift right of one bit is performed and the result subtracted from the magic constant 0x5f3759df. This is the first approximation of the inverse square root of the input. Treating the bits again as floating point it runs one iteration of Newton's method to return a more precise approximation. This computes an approximation of the inverse square root of a floating point number approximately four times faster than floating point division. The algorithm was originally attributed to John Carmack, but an investigation showed that the code had deeper roots in both the hardware and software side of computer graphics. Adjustments and alterations passed through both Silicon Graphics and 3DFX Interactive, with Gary Tirolli's implementation for the SGI Indigo as the earliest known use. It is not known how the constant was originally derived, though investigation has shed some light on possible methods. Motivation The inverse square root of a floating point number is used in calculating a normalized vector. Since a 3D graphics program uses these normalized vectors to determine lighting and reflection, millions of these calculations must be done per second. Before the creation of specialized hardware to handle transform and lighting, software computations could be slow. Specifically, when the code was developed in the early 1990s, most floating point processing power lagged behind the speed of integer processing. To normalize a vector, the length of the vector is determined by calculating its Euclidean norm, the square root of the sum of squares of the vector components. When each component of the vector is divided by that length, the new vector will be a unit vector pointing in the same direction. Is the Euclidean norm of the vector, analogous to the calculation of the Euclidean distance between two points in Euclidean space? Is the normalized vector using to represent which relates the unit vector to the inverse square root of the distance components. Quake 3 Arena used the fast inverse square root algorithm to speed graphics processing unit computation, but the algorithm has since been implemented in some dedicated hardware vertex shaders using field programmable gate arrays. Overview of the code The following code is the fast inverse square root implementation from Quake 3 Arena, stripped of C preprocessor directives but including the exact original comment text. In order to determine the inverse square root, an approximation for would be determined by the software, then some numerical method would revise that approximation until it came within an acceptable error range of the actual result. Common software methods in the early 1990s drew a first approximation from a lookup table. This bit of code proved faster than table lookups and approximately four times faster than regular floating point division. Some loss of precision occurred, but was offset by the significant gains in performance. The algorithm was designed with the IEEE 754-1985 32-bit floating point specification in mind, but investigation from Chris Lomont and later Charles McEnery showed that it could be implemented in other floating point specifications. The advantages in speed offered by the fast inverse square root clutch came from treating the long word containing the floating point number as an integer then subtracting it from a specific constant, 0x5f3759df. The purpose of the constant is not immediately clear to someone viewing the code, so, like other such constants found in code, it is often called a magic number. 
This integer subtraction and bit shift results in a long word which when treated as a floating point number is a rough approximation for the inverse square root of the input number. One iteration of Newton's method is performed to gain some precision, and the code is finished. The algorithm generates reasonably accurate results using a unique first approximation for Newton's method. However, it is much slower and less accurate than using the SSE instruction or SQRTSS on x86 processes also released in 1999. A worked example, as an example, consider the number x equals 0 0.15625, for which we want to calculate 1 per RSHX a per mil 2.52982. The first steps of the algorithm are illustrated below. 0011111100000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
I florin equals zero yields exact results at both ends of the interval, while I florin a per mil 0.0430357 yields the optimal approximation. Thus we have the approximation. On the other hand, interpreting the bit pattern of X as an integer yields. It then appears that X is a scaled and shifted piecewise linear approximation of log 2, X, as illustrated in the figure on the right. In other words, log 2, X, is approximated by First approximation of the result, the calculation of Y equals 1 per RSH X is based on the identity. Using the approximation of the logarithm above, applied to both X and Y, the above equation gives which is written in the code as the first term above is the a euro o e magic number a euro from which it can be inferred i florin a per mil 0.0450466 the second term a one half x is calculated by shifting the bits of x one position to the right newton's method after performing those integer operations the algorithm once again treats the long word as a floating point number and i and performs a floating point multiplication operation. The floating point operation represents a single iteration of Newton's method of finding roots for a given equation. For this example, is the inverse square root, or, as a function of y. As represents a general expression of Newton's method with as the first approximation, is the particularized expression where and. Hence y equals y, 1.5 f, x h a l f y y is the same as, the first approximation is generated above through the integer operations and input into the last two lines of the function. Repeated iterations of the algorithm, using the output of the function as the input of the next iteration, cause the algorithm to converge on the root with increasing precision. For the purposes of the Quake 3 engine, only one iteration was used. A second iteration remained in the code but was commented out. Accuracy. As noted above, the approximation is surprisingly accurate. The graph on the right plots the error of the function, for input starting at 0.01, where the standard library gives 10.0 as a result, while INVSQRT gives 9.982522, making the difference 0.017479, or 0.175%. The absolute error only drops from then on while the relative error stays within the same bounds across all orders of magnitude. History and Investigation The source code for Quake 3 was not released until QuakeCon 2005, but copies of the fast inverse square root code appeared on Usenet and other forums as early as 2002 or 2003. Initial speculation pointed to John Carmack as the probable author of the code, but he demurred and suggested it was written by Turge Matheson, an accomplished assembly programmer who had previously helped at software with Quake optimization. Matheson had written an implementation of a similar bit of code in the late 1990s, but the original authors proved to be much further back in the history of 3D computer graphics with Gary Tirolli's implementation for the SGI Indigo as a possible earliest known use. Risson felt concluded that the original algorithm was devised by Greg Walsh at Ardent Computer in consultation with Cleve Molo of MATLAB fame. Cleve Molo learned about this trick from code written by William Kahn and KCNG at Berkeley around 1986. Jim Blinn also demonstrated a simple approximation of the inverse square root in a 1997 column for IEEE computer graphics and applications. It is not known precisely how the exact value for the magic number was determined. Chris Lomont developed a function to minimize approximation error by choosing the magic number R over a range. He first computed the optimal constant for the linear approximation step as 0x5f37642f, close to 0x5f3759df, but this new constant gave slightly less accuracy after one iteration of Newton's method. Lomont then searched for a constant optimal even after one and two Newton iterations and found 0x5F375A86, which is more accurate than the original at every iteration stage. He concluded by asking whether the exact value of the original constant was chosen through derivation or trial and error. 
Lomont pointed out that the magic number for 64-bit IEEE 754 size type double is 0x5 face 6x85 E7 to 30 DA, but in fact it was shown to be exactly 0x5 face 6 EB50 C7 B537 A9. Charles McEnery performed a similar but more sophisticated optimization over likely values for R. His initial brute force search resulted in the same constant that Lomont determined. When he attempted to find the constant through weighted bisection, the specific value of R used in the function occurred, leading McEnery to believe that the constant may have originally been derived through bisecting to a given tolerance. See also, methods of computing square roots, approximations that depend on IEEE representation, notes, use of the type long reduces the portability of this code on modern systems. For the code to execute properly, Sisyov, long, must be 4 bytes, otherwise negative outputs may result. Under many modern 64-bit systems, Sisyov, long, is 8 bytes. X should be in the range, 1, 254, for X to be representable as a normal number. The only real numbers that can be represented exactly as floating point are those for which MX is an integer. Other numbers can only be represented approximately by rounding them to the nearest exactly representable number. SX equals zero since X greater than zero. References Documents Blin, Jim. Floating Point Tricks. Computer Graphics and Applications, IEEE 17, 80 DOI. 10.1109/38.595279A Blin Jim Jim Blin's corner notation 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 Morgan Kaufman ISBN A1-55860-860-5A Abel Ian Jim 1985 3D game engine design Morgan Kaufman ISBN A 978-1-55860-593-0A, Abeli, David. Fast Inverse Square Root. Geometric Tools. Retrieved March 22, 2009 R, Hennessy, John. Patterson, David A. Computer Organization and Design. San Francisco, California, Morgan Kaufman Publishers. ISBN A 978-1-55860-491-9 Kushner, David. The Wizardry of Id. IEE Spectrum 39, 42-Euro 47 DOI, 10.1109-MSPEC. 2002.1021943A, Lomont, Chris. Fast Inverse Square Root. Retrieved February 13, 2009 a, McEnery, Charles. The Mathematics Behind the Fast Inverse Square Root Function Code. Retrieved February 13, 2009 a, Middendorf, Lars. Ma one quarter Habauer, Felix. Umlauf, George. Bodba, Christoph. Embedded Vertex Shader in FPGA. In Retberg, Achen. Embedded System Design. Topics, Techniques and Trends. IFIPTC 10 Working Conference, International Embedded Systems Symposium AL. Irvine, California, Springer. ISBN A 978-0-387-72257-3A, Strigel, Jason. Quakes Fast Inverse Square Root. Hagsine O'Reilly Media. Archived from the original on February 15, 2009. Retrieved January 7, 2013. A external links. A brief history of INVSQRT by Matthew Robertson, 0x5F3759DF. Further investigations into accuracy and generalizability of the algorithm by Christian Plesner Hansen. Origin of Quake 3's fast INVSQRT. Quake 3 Arena source code. Margolin, Toma. Magical Square Root Implementation in Quake 3. Code Maestro. The Coding Experience A.